My second story-driven cosplay video is about a video game called Nier Automata. What made working on this project so interesting was that I had no idea what Nier Automata was when I initially started working on the video. And to be honest, I still don't know too much. Nier Automata's world is set in distant future where apparently people are actually androids and they fight robots with swords in city ruins and they wear Japanese outfits. Confusing, I know. Compared to the previous cosplay video, which was about Skyrim, this time the video had two cosplayers. This immediately drew my attention because I feel like more powerful stories can be told when there is more people in front of camera. The main character is called Tubi, who is played by Ina Leitinen, and then there is another character, 9S, who is played by Krista Kokki. 9S is a support unit for Tubi, who helps exploring the ruins. The story is about these two characters meeting, exploring, hanging out, and eventually 9S gets lost. The drama for the story comes from Tubi finally finding her lost friend corrupted. This is something that happens or may happen within the video game, so we were basically recreating a part of an existing storyline. When it comes to the choreography, we tried to mimic as much from the video game as possible. That meant, for example, the idle animations, the idea of 9S getting excited and running to different directions, the sword play, and the interactions between these two characters in general. The music for the video is called The Weight of the World, and it is from the video game soundtrack. The song reminded me of The Last Goodbye from The Hobbit and Titanic's My Heart Will Go On. And by looking at the music videos of those songs, they are mostly cuts from the movie. And because I knew our story would be mostly just pretty pictures with strong emotional scene at the end, that's where I got the idea of doing something similar. The song actually has English and Japanese versions. When I listened to the song, I realized it repeats itself quite a bit, and that's where I got the idea of mixing in both languages. One of the challenges on the shooting day was the blindfolds. Krista, who played 9S, could only see her feet while the blindfold was on and Ina actually had to hold her hand between performances because putting the blindfold on and off would have taken too much time. I like working on these fantasy cosplay video projects because I get to do a lot of special effects. I am of course talking about the 9S corruption animation. My version of the effect doesn't and doesn't even try to look like the effect in game. But I felt like these characters being androids, the effect still remains quite fitting. I'm very new to After Effects and I'm sure if I was better at using it, I would probably have completely mimicked the original animation. But that's what I ended up with, and I'm happy. I know without practice I would never become good at it, so it's great to be able to work on these projects. The first half of the shooting day was recorded by Jonas Laxos, so consider watching his behind the scenes video as well. I hope you enjoy the work we are doing, and as always, I can't wait to come back to you with the next film.